Good evening, it's your man Earl. It is day 119 on the calendar and FSQ, Federal Self-Quarantine, day 43. And we are in the Gospel of John, uh, John chapter 1, verse 14. And we're talking about extending grace. John chapter 1, Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 14. And it says this, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Now, really quickly, I really want to talk about extending grace. Uh, all of us at some point in time in our lives, we will need grace. And if you know that you're going to need grace, then you should also be one who extends grace. Let me define grace really quickly. Grace is uh, biblically defined as undeserved kindness. And we don't need to go deep into that because we all know how to be kind. How do we know how to be kind? Because we know when someone is kind to us. So when I talk about extending grace, we're talking about extending kindness to someone who does not deserve it. For example, the person who cuts you off when you're driving your car, the person who is in the line at the grocery store who is rushing and bumping the cart up against you and your children, or uh, the person who is trying to cut uh, in line and they're driving uh, erratically and they're driving uh, dangerously. And what you do is you slow down so you can let them uh, cut across because they're already being reckless. Well, those are all forms of grace. Because it's undeserved kindness. See, somebody who cusses you out uh, from the from the world's perspective doesn't deserve grace. Someone who's trying to cut you off in the ATM line uh, doesn't deserve uh, kindness. But when we talk about extending grace, what we we are very aware of grace is undeserved kindness. Why? Because that's what God has done to us, and that's what He's given us. And He not only has given it us one time. He continuously gives it to us time and time again. So let's revisit John chapter 1, verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. We know that the Bible is full of grace. The Bible talks about God's grace. It talks about the grace of God that, that surpasses understanding. Uh, we talked about, you know, in Psalm, you'll find uh, that God's grace extends to a thousand generations. You know, we, we, we hear this term an awful lot. And now the question is, uh, are you extending grace? Are you giving grace to those people in your life that, you, that you've been mistreated, that you've been uh, treated poorly, maybe even been, quote unquote, cut off? Maybe you've been ostracized? But there will come a time when God will allow you the opportunity to extend them grace. Why? Because God is always looking for someone to emulate him. And when we talk about that is, is we're looking for godly grace. And what is godly grace? Grace, godly grace is putting forth what God would do. That's why we talk about those bracelets, you know, WWJD, what would uh, Jesus do? Well, God is always in the business of extending grace. Now, does he have a wrath? Absolutely. But he's constantly extending grace. Let's go a little deeper. Uh, the word grace also uh, talks about it from a biblical perspective. is it, it is enables us to give the mercy of God. Now that, big, that, that word mercy is a big word. Because we are always quick. We want justice. We want retribution. We want uh, compensation. We want uh, to feel vindicated. Nevertheless, when it's when we're at fault, what do we want? We want the grace of God. We want the mercy of God. We want the compassion of even other people. So as we close out uh, midnight meditations, once again today is day one nineteen FSQ forty three. Let's look at extending the grace of God. This is an excellent opportunity during this quarantine that we look at a people uh, that have done us wrong over the last, even this year. I know it's been a very strange year, but people who have talked about us, treated us poorly, 
have uh, maligned us maybe, drug our name through the mud. And some of us actually deserve to be treated poorly. But that's a separate video. Let's talk about and let's see if we can't put into place over the next 30 days while we're still under quarantine. Can we start to look at uh, giving people grace? Because there'll be a lot of people that are trying to uh, come back into the fold, if you will. All right. It's your man, Earl. God bless you. God keep you. Day 119 on the calendar. FSQ 43, John 1, verse 14. Let's extend God's grace. Peace.